Hi, no chat today because we got two people and I don't like to have five people. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, Ritu, is that how you say your name? That's how I say my name. Thanks, Kevin. All right, so who's your new sidekick? It's Ritu Chandra and Jackie Byrne are here with you today. Bird or burn? Burn like fire. Are you Irish? Yes. All right, well, that's too bad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So what happened to Ken Krantz? Um, he decided he was going to do another podcast about rock and roll, you know, very cool podcast with someone else. So he broke up with you? No, he wanted to keep doing our podcast, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to be, I don't want to be in the shadow of your passion project, which is how he referred to his rock and roll po podcast. I was like, oh, that's your passion project. And what's, his, what's it called? It. What's it called? It's a really creative name. It's called I Love Rock and Roll. I'm sure it's a great podcast. Of course, I'm going to shit on it. So I know he's going to listen to this and be like, eh, that cunt. But whatever. Like Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. Yeah, isn't that clever? Pretty clever. <laughs> I know you don't like the name uh, of our new podcast. Yeah, well, you're pot. Yeah, you can't have a, ask, tell, <laughs> ask Adam. You can't have a name you, where you can't say it or spell it. It doesn't matter. Confrontation? Don't. You don't like the name? I would think you would love the name. No, first of all, they can't. When you when you look it the up, name of the it, podcast it says is CNT. Yeah. So that's not good because you can't <laughs> spell it. Guys, we fucked is like one of the biggest podcasts ever, and you can't say. Okay, fucked. but you know what they say. You know what they're saying, guys. By the time you get the fucked, you know what they're saying, oh, guys. I, get, we, I see what you're saying, guys. We fucked. What else could it be? Fact. <laughs> so. So, we should have consulted you. No, 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 nobody consults me. Listen, this podcast won't last because people who don't, <laughs> people who don't listen to me, it don't last. It don't last. Tired twats, uh, G hole, G hole. Why, why the what, what, what would a podcast named G hole be? Whose podcast was that again? Did okay, you know? but what if you if a G hole, what would that be? What is, I don't even know what a G. She's sweet. She doesn't know a G hole. I don't know what a G hole. I don't even know what a G hole is. Thank isn't you. Isn't it something to do with uh with with uh? Isn't yeah, that like your a glory hole? hole. No, oh, is I that what you're... it is? Hold on. Exactly. So you're debating what it is. You're debating what it is. Because so that's my point. Adam, you C know what a G hole C -N -T is. C N T front C N T like frontation the... means nothing. C N T front frontation means nothing. I think nothing. you're talking about a G spot, Ritu. G oh, I'm talking about G spot. G spot, that's a good one. That's it's not G spot, but it's, that's not what they were going for. Greatest hour of listening ever, G hole. <laughs> so yeah, no one. Yeah. That's just a dumb name. It's a dumb name. So can't can't see a confrontation is a dumb name. <laughs> okay. You could call it cunt town. You could call it. You could. But call how it, is cunt town better, Kevin? Because, yeah. because first of all, it's funnier, and second of all, <laughs> you could spell it either C U N town, so that oh. way you would, that way you wouldn't have to you wouldn't have to use any asterisks or K U N T town. So either way, you, maybe we should have spelled confrontation with a K. We didn't think about no, that. No, don't confrontation's dumb. <laughs> first of all, it's too long. You don't want to have. No one's gonna say the thing. What are they gonna abbreviate? At? <laughs> Just make it short. Confrontation of like eight. These points are so valid. Adam, 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 please. Just, I mean, I'm trying to look they it can't, up. They can't spell it. The they can't say it. You can't say it. You can't go on a show and say it. You can never say it anywhere. Confrontation, we can say I was it saying con confrontation without the with the silent T, but that doesn't even make sense. Kevin, you're- well, None of it makes sense. You guys, you guys are idiots. <laughs> Confront. What has it been? Two minutes. I mean, think it was, people go. I people go. Actually, con it took longer than I thought. People go confrontation. No, I don't know. Now I like confrontation. <laughs> I, I like cunt town too, except it's too similar to come town. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's why you want it because you're <laughs> such cunts. You don't even care that you're stealing come town. Even if they go, why are you? First of all, there no one's going to steal it. No one's going to care because no one will leave right or ever hear of your show. <laughs> right. And then if they do, you go, yeah, we we stole their name because we're cunts. Oh my god, that's really funny. Here I thought it was a brilliant. It's not even. Name. It's just common sense. We don't you, have that clearly. Did you try to? <laughs> did you try to call it just 
confrontation and they no, wouldn't let you? I was worried that, that that wouldn't get approved. Would it I not? Think it, would it, it would I think it'll get approved. They'll just put an ask. They'll just bleep it themselves. Oh, they do that. So yeah, but then you got to worry everywhere you go about it's getting bleep true. or whatever. Where, I where up am Cumtown. I going to get bleep? Come town, come town. They don't have to bleep it <laughs> anywhere because comes a word. Comes a word means something else. C U M. They have it two words. C U M town. C U M. When you look up C U M in a dictionary, it's a word. It's a, it's not it's not about uh, sex. C U M is is a word. So they they're totally can, they never have to bleep it. They never it's have to use up. an asterisk. So you're better off using something where you never have to use an asterisk. Okay. Cause, cause but I think with, with cunt town, wouldn't you have to use an asterisk? Not, Not if, if you spell it with a K. The K, the K is with a, genius. I'm so pissed. If you spell it with a K or if you spell it with, or C-U-N town with, with no, with one T. <gasps> so then you're saying con town, cunt town. Cunt town. Either way, whatever, whatever you don't have to asterisk. I mean, you're already putting yourself behind the eight ball. Like no one's going to find it confrontation like confrontation no with a c you c but we can't with the O, but we can't use it <laughs> just like come on man uh, i'm just it this is depressing me oh um, so you guys were so oh who who recommended this somebody no one's ever heard of oh jesus <laughs> you act like you got you act like Luis gomez uh bequeathed this to you oh my <laughs> we uh, yeah I'm not gonna get yeah, into it. Yeah, it's genius. I don't know. Can even defend this. It was, a nice, name. It was huh? a nice name. It was a. I think it was a good name. It's but too really... long. You can't say it. You can't spell it. You're and bringing up people some go. What's the name points. of your show? Confrontation. Con <laughs> confrontation. No confrontation. This what? is so bad. Who's on first? I don't. I just haven't had that issue with anyone yet. But he's probably right. No, Kevin. I think you are yeah. right. Yeah. Listen, I've never been wrong. So, <laughs> I mean, if, if there's a scenario, Adam said, whoa, I, I mean, Chad whoa, said I was whoa. wrong once. You've Chad said I was wrong once wrong? about Dr. Fauci. Not with this shit, because it's common sense. Okay. Well, you was have I wrong with years... Lenny? Was I wrong with Lenny? Was I wrong with, I mean, I've never been wrong. You've had years and years in the business. I was just so going to say. Would, yeah, yeah, course. yeah. So try to insult me. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a not veteran. I'm insulting you. You're as old as me, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm you not even Harvard? insulting you. You went to Harvard? You don't know how to fucking spell confrontation? I didn't go to Harvard. I thought that's where you met your husband. No, my husband went to Harvard. I went, I know. We, oh, you we went, went to the Chicago. shitty junior college nearby? <laughs> I went to UCLA. It's not shabby, but it's not Harvard. It's not shabby. It's not shabby. I don't know how you mean. Anyway, All right, so, so Kevin, you think we should change hundred percent change it? What's your pick? Have you Come listened down? to an episode yet? You you'd have to pay me a thousand dollars. I'm not I don't even care what you have to say. Do I do I do I care what three women have to say? No. I try to listen to podcasts and after a minute I'm like, I I I can't, can't do, do it. Can't do this to myself. Do you like the twats? You listened to that shit. Sometime? No, I didn't. I never listened to their show. They were on my show, and then I I had to listen to them because I was right there. First of all, they <laughs> called their show what was their chick chat? That's so it's honest. Like they thought that was cute, chick chat, chick chat, and there was like eight other chick chats already. And then they were like, after like uh, two years, of like, let's call it tired twats, like Kevin. Oh, said. Okay. By then it was. Okay, sure. By then I'm it was like, too late. By then it was too late. I think the moral is all female uh, podcasters need to consult Kevin with their. No, no, no. G hole was G hole was the worst name, and that's <laughs> two guys. We're not the worst. No, we're yeah, definitely not the worst. worst. <laughs> second. Can so we Chick use them for publicity? Better? Yeah, I know. The Cunt Town. Was... What's the name of your show? Cunt Town. What? <laughs> Cunt Town. And if you don't spell, it's all a matter of like stu stupidity. You can spell cunt with a K. It can't. You can't pronounce it any other way, but. They can't bleep mm. it because it's not a word. See, K U N T is not a bad word. That's what we should do. When you put it on Twitter, you call someone, you call somebody a cunt on Twitter. They don't, they can't report you because it's not a word. It's just, it's a matter of one letter, but that's how stupid it is. He's definitely speaking from experience, so I would take his word on that Twitter thing. <laughs> no, he's right. I'm, I'm actually, I'm upset with us. Yeah. Well, the the worst that's going to happen is they're just going to say no. It's not like you're going to be blacklisted from the internet or anything like okay. that. So you could uh, just try it. No, it's not. See, K U N T is not a word. They can't delete it. It's not a word. Okay. It's not a bad word. You can, you, it's just not a bad word. It's just a matter of one letter, but it's not a bad word. Now but it can't, got... it, 
you can still say you say cunt town and then they go oh we looked it up and whatever so it's not complicated or spell it c-u-n-t cunt town cunt town <laughs> It's right. genius. Because that, that way, that way it's not even, that way it's town. It's a C-U-N and a town. Cunt yeah. Town. It's like Mike, it's like Mike Cunt. I love the way you say town. How, how do you spell town. Mike? How do you spell Mike <laughs> Cunt? Mike Hunt. Mike Cunt. Right, right. right. I got it. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I'm a genius. You are. All right, so that's all you needed me for? Yeah, Thanks, exactly. Kevin. I was You're like, welcome. what other life issues right, of ours can you solve? Hey, <laughs> everybody. That's it. He might literally hang up on us. I have that's no so, idea. I, it's <laughs> he would be allowed. What have you, what's been going on? I haven't seen you in a while. Are you right? No, good? Not, not too much. <laughs> Nothing's going on with me. You know, just a documentary was made about me. and I didn't uh, see it yet. I didn't yeah, see it You're either. busy with your projects, Cunt Town and Cunt <laughs> Man, your diet, Cunt up podcast names, right? I am busy. Controversies. I, so. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a lot of stuff. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Oh, jeez. So what do you, you got? What is your show about? Okay, so it's about c- confrontation. Now that I think about it, maybe it's a little similar to Burning Bridges. That way, remember? But anyway, so it's a, it's like I had this idea for a company called rent a because a lot of people don't like confrontation where you could rent me to have your I remember we talked about you. that. Right. So I was telling Jackie about it and, and Jackie isn't, Jackie's a nice, you're in the middle of being I'm a in cunt. the middle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're not quite one. So we thought that it would make a funny podcast idea where you talk about confrontations and I could, could we could, conf, we could conf, confront people for you. We could dissect your confrontation that you, like we could give you advice. Yeah. That's it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I know, look at you well, see his disdain. This, when would this come? <laughs> When would this play out in real life? I have a feeling tomorrow's episode is all going to be around about this podcast. <laughs> this no, podcast. but what, wait, you're going to, you're going to troubleshoot if somebody can't, what? I don't get it. So if somebody's afraid to confront somebody, you'll do it for them. I could do it for them or, or, or we Jackie could, talk could about do what it. They yeah, should we, say, or yeah. we could talk about what they should say. We could help them through it. Like who? Like people would send you emails and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like people with problems. <laughs> Look at Rachel, have you ever felt worse about yourself? <laughs> um, yeah, and I've then, done Kevin's podcast before, so pretty much every time I've done. I've never, podcast. I've never missed Ken Cranston. We get so, much in so my many life. emails. <laughs> At least I could talk sports with him and rock and roll. We oh get so God. many emails. I'm sure so he'd many. love to come on and promote his new podcast anyway. So you should have him on. Wait, so, so wait, so I don't understand. So you're out. getting you emails. Surprised. Yeah, tons. DMs, all of it. Yeah. And what are some examples? Um, somebody had uh, somebody's neighbor threatened their dog with a paintball gun. That was a good wow. one. Yeah, look at him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> so, and then what's going to happen? Well, we just we dissected the situation. There was a lot to it. She lives uh she lives a very rich and lavish lifestyle on Elaine. So we had to understand like the whole background about it. Look, it's an interesting podcast. You don't have to be a dick all the fucking time. You don't. You don't. You're saying it's I'm it's being- three women. You're right. You're never gonna listen to it. You're not our target, so you don't have to shit on it. You're saying I'm being confrontational? <laughs> you're just being a cunt it's not even the frontation part why are you getting defensive i'm just asking how does it play out in a in a real life scenario we've so only had two advice? episodes so we we don't really have that much but the to best tell you about. example you had is the paintball situation yeah and then i got in a fight with somebody on instagram so we went through That's that it. too it's been two episodes <laughs> but we're getting great reviews <laughs> dying look at him. I know, and great. Kevin, we no, I, read the, I read the reviews, and they, it sounds like they're made up. <laughs> well, one's for me, one's for my husband. One's it is. For- it's true, right? They're fake. They're not all fake. <laughs> they're not all fake. But some are fake. Yeah, we just started. Oh my god! I, you, I wish I was a lawyer. Why? What would you do? Because I just I, all I said was some are fake. You go, they're fake. You're not even under oath. <laughs> you could have just said they're not fake, but you're like, they are fake. I, I was not gonna lie. As soon as I read fake. them, I knew they were fake. Not all of them are fake. I know, but I could I can I could smell a fake review. 
The chemistry is amazing. <laughs> oh, but we have good chemistry. We do. Know, that's that's what you guys chemistry. think. That's what you guys think. <laughs> that's what Kevin, me and Lenny used to think. We never, we never speak now. Nobody oh. said you have good chemistry with people. Huh? Nobody says you have yeah, good chemistry with anybody. I have, yes, they do. That's all they say. With Lenny, Adam. with Liz, with, with uh, Brian Look McCarthy. Look at Adam laughing No, right they were all there on the podcast with you. That's when I used to listen to everything. And I wouldn't say there was great chemistry. There was you. They used to call me. Them. They used to call me and Brian McCarthy, Lennon McCarthy, because our names are very similar. Uh. <laughs> Brennan McCarthy, Lennon McCartney. That's how, that's how good mm. our chemistry was. You and Brian, oh you my God, called him great. a drunk every day and berated him. Yeah, because he was. But that's good <laughs> chemistry for that's Irish people. That's good chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's it true. Is. The dysfunction. Uh, we need it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, we do have good chemistry. We have a, a producer who doesn't really know how to produce. So that's kind of funny. Yeah, another lady, right? Another lady. Another lady. <laughs> What do you have against women? You don't like women well, talking? the same thing everybody does. <laughs> Which is? They're annoying and worthless. Oh, oh my, God. my God. Other than- for Is that how you talk? Is that what you tell your daughter? Is that, other than sexual activity, I don't even know what your oh, role Jesus. is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That's this awful. This is confrontational. <laughs> this is really <laughs> confrontational. <laughs> I just oh. don't see, listen, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I, 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 you know, whatever. It's like theme, theme, uh, theme shows I think are hard anyway, unless it's like a crime thing. Is yeah. that right, Adam? Aren't theme shows hard to like sustain? Really just depends on who it is. The individual, Whoa. what the. So he's saying. <laughs> he's I mean, the expert. What, what this sounds like is an advice show. This is more like an advice show, right? Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. Interspersed with you know our, our own background experiences, and our own experiences. Right. But you're not. But you're not actually gonna help. You're just gonna get. Yeah. You're not gonna actually step in and like call their neighbor. I would no, if we they want, want me to. to. Yeah, we want to do that. Do you have someone you would like us to confront that you've been afraid to confront, confront yourself, yeah. Kevin? <laughs> yes, I do. His name, is, his name is Gary Goldman. <laughs> oh, are you guys still feuding? I, as soon as I see him, we will be. Why? Because I don't, I don't bury the hatchets. Oh, I don't, okay. I don't. That'd be a good name for. Do uh, you want? That's podcast. a great name. Bury I don't the hatch. bury hatch. No, I don't bury hatch. Oh, don't. He okay. won't be expecting it from me and Jackie. Do you want us to just like bum rush him yeah. at the cellar when he walks in one night? We'll just yeah. be. Sit yeah. You want that'll that? Work. That'll do. Yeah, that'll be amazing. I don't even know if the two of us could take him down. He's pretty tall. No, I was gonna say he's a tall, like handsome Jewish guy. That's like I'm gonna probably yeah, so. try to make out with him. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, we That's won't be my type. this episode. <laughs> Handsome. Mm. <laughs> Neil's handsome too, then I guess. I don't uh, <laughs> okay, so then you're just gonna read emails and then and then do the people uh contact you? Are they Yeah, and well, we have we have we're gonna have guests come on and talk about things themselves. We're gonna have experts come on. <laughs> you're an expert. You are definitely an expert. I think expert we should have Kevin on. We sh if uh, he will come on, expert. we'll have him on. I'm an expert. Yeah, can you, you are an on? expert. Have you ever had a, a good confrontation though without it ending with you getting punched in the face? He got headbutted once. Oh, okay, that's different. Yeah. Was, who headbutted you? Who headbutted you? Oh, your yeah. doorman. Not my doorman. <laughs> <laughs> somebody who works at the building. No, somebody who somebody lived in the building. Oh, okay, okay. In front of the, we were fighting over the, about the doorman. You were I, fighting about your doorman and then you got headbutted. Yes. <laughs> Should we break it down? What did you do to deserve the head? I was just going to say, yeah. No, I was backing the guy up again. I, the guy was, I got in a fight with the doorman and then another tenant uh, was watching it. So he, sold, he told me to knock it off. So I just started to, so I said, why don't you mind your own business? And I started to like back him. I started to like get in his face. Uh -oh. And then he was backing up and I was like, holy shit, it's just like in the movie. I'm winning. He's afraid of me because I was taller, <laughs> but he was setting me up so that 
I would be leaning forward. And, and he then, get you. And then he headbutted me. Fucking karate. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but doesn't it really that, happened. Doesn't that hurt the person doing it as much as the person? No, I don't think doing so. It too? I think they learned from he was Eastern European. Oh, okay. He was from Europe. So he I, knew how to I was just gonna say mm. that's like some cop. Did he Krav take you to no, they learn from then? they learn from playing soccer. They learn how to use the the, oh. the, the, the hard part of the head. Did you go to court over that? He brought me to court because he was afraid of me. He thought I was unhinged. So he wanted me to- uh, Fair he, point. He had like a, he wanted to have like a, um, we basically had to go to mediation because he sued me. And then, and the judge was like, wait, you he you headbutted him and he, you're, you're suing him? Are you bringing him to court? He goes, yeah, I just want to, basically he just wanted some paper trail in case it happened again. But I wasn't going to let it happen again. Fool me once, you know, I'm not going to get headbutted. <laughs> I was going to say, how can you sue someone after you've headbutted He's not them? suing me. He's basically just saying, I don't even know what the charges were. It was like a threat. Remember. No, it was, Dave, we had to go to court. Just charges were brought. Jesus. And then, and then they made us go to mediation because he was like, he was afraid I might retaliate or something. Or Did you at that point think true. like, maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut through the doorman? Do you ever regret what you do? That's what I really I regret know. doing this podcast with you two, but <laughs> other than that, I don't Here know. Here we are. <laughs> I don't know. No. I, I mean, this is do some I, bad does, karma, it sound, right? <laughs> does it sound stupid in retrospect? Yeah. But in the, in the moment, it wasn't that stupid. I was just, it was, it was the heat of the moment. You like, don't, you know, do you regret this feud with Gary Gullman? No, fuck no. He's a, he's a, he's garbage. I'm going to give out his phone number at the end of the show. <laughs> Maybe we could have Gary come on and talk yeah. about this confrontation. Maybe. With Kevin. Gary, <laughs> no, Gary wouldn't do it. Gary, Gary wants, Gary thinks he's, you know, Gary's so delusional. He thinks he's like a peaceful man, even though everybody knows he's filled with rage he's a rageaholic every everybody has a gary goldman losing his temper story but See, gary i don't thinks, know gary, gary so. thinks he's yeah, gary thinks he's like a philosophical giant and a a deep thinker and he's just a piece of shit who's you know whatever see i don't know gary but he's i know a lot of people like the, that he's protected by the jew mafia in show business yeah like there's a lot of people who think they're super calm and spiritual and wise and they're the biggest fucking assholes, assholes. in this world yeah totally that's that's what that's i think gary goleman in a that's in a in a in nutshell a, wow yeah so you guys think, haven't run into each other yet but it's gonna happen soon everything's open well, i'm not up. worried i'm not worried right but uh I'm i just, just want to be there gary goleman was on your show he would he would act like no that was a that was a fluke that was an aberration oh uh, <laughs> it's the exact opposite. He's like a raging rageaholic. He probably he'd be like he be he's like full blown AIDS if he was AIDS. Like oh, he'd be geez. like the guy with the <laughs> like with the fucking lesions on his back and he oh, weigh he would weigh eighty pounds. That's how that's how yeah, that's Gary Goldman. Oh hey. But he pretends now he's depressed. I would be depressed See, if I was him. Thing. You, you <laughs> end up in these beefs, but you do end up making up a lot of times. You had one with Jimmy and you guys made up. No, he you didn't. I, don't, I never see him. He did your roast, didn't he? No, he wouldn't do my roast. Oh, I thought you guys kissed and he made said, up. He said, I, I know more. what you're doing. He said, I know what you're doing. You're playing me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jimmy always thinks I, I'm playing him. I, I wish I was wise enough to play. You Kev. I, I, I wish I was smart enough to play Jimmy. Play anybody. I can't even play. Wow, my, Kev. I can't even outwit my kids. So I don't know. I don't. I don't even try to play anybody. That's how dumb I am. Really? Yeah, really. I find that hard to believe. Um, but I know you had a beef with somebody, and you kissed and made up. No, no, I haven't. Adam, can you think of one? No, nothing that's been resolved, really. Brian McCarthy, we call him on our on the phone, and he won't even he won't even talk on the podcast for a second. Oh. Tom Cassidy called him one time, and oh, uh, but you Keanu. and Tom made up. Tom. Yeah, he they was were, on on. They were they had no beef. They didn't. No, they never had a beef. Um, you and Brian should do a reconciliation show. I've been advised that it's a bad idea by Teamster Tim. I don't know who Teamster Tim is. <laughs> what does Teamster so Tim have on. a problem with it? That's a, that's 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 how I go for outside counsel. Teamster mm -hmm. Tim is he a listener? Because he's a man of the he's a man of the streets. He's a truck driver, so he's a man of the streets. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's who you should go for counsel too. That makes sense. No, you should have Tim, a, Sir Tim come give advice. He yes. gave me a ride to the he gave me a ride to the gig on in Connecticut on Saturday. I go, I go, Tim, take a left here. He goes, I know what I'm doing. I go, I live here. He goes, I've been driving these streets for 40 years. Like, I know, I know, but I live here. I, I go, take, go there. And he's like, no, no, no. And then we got, he got into a little bit of a traffic jam and lucky I didn't throw up on him because I get car sick of me. <laughs> Wait, you live in Connecticut now? No. He picked me up and took me to a brought oh he brought you home okay got you got you got you so yeah so hopefully i didn't get the covid oh, I'm, but i'm one i'm a one-time uh vaccinator so i should be all right right probably right, uh, why did you wait so long to get vaccinated you could have your husband's vac- in the your husband's in the pfizer game isn't he not anymore whoa yeah he got laid off like last year or yeah, the but year he got before. a job doesn't he get another job yeah yeah he got another job Okay. But yeah, the stock, by the way, hasn't moved just because they came out with a fucking vaccine, which I don't understand. It's like, what's the point? What? what what's the what, point? What stock? Pfizer? Yeah. Yeah. Like moved. you would think coming. No, it hasn't moved. Trust me. I would th- like, I don't know anything, but this I would know because it benefits me. That's it. That's. I bet that. it's moved. I bet it's moved in the last year because I know all the stocks were going up when the, when the, when they came up with the vaccination initially. The, the drug stocks were going up because I own some. It didn't really go up though. It went like, up, nothing like- it went up, trust me, it went up. All like that, I- they all went up, they all went up. But you're busy with your show, so don't- I think you're wrong. I'm busy with my show, making, I'm performing again. We're making yeah. bad decisions yeah. left and right. I know. You guys are, I- you guys are consoling uh, Aaron, what's his name? Aaron Fernandes? Oh, yeah. not Aaron. <laughs> Thinking of Aaron Hernandez. No, <laughs> What's his name? We don't want to consult him. <laughs> Although he's dead, right? <laughs> yeah, don't I don't want to say him. I have a few yeah, with him bad. too, Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> Actually, I won't get my. I I I have some connection to him because uh, his dad died from he has a he got a hernia operation and he died from the getting the hernia operation. And that's what the hell are you connected have to, do to with that? Yeah. Supposedly, Aaron Hernandez went crazy once his dad died. Oh, and, uh, and are we he, getting deep? He was out of control. Anyway, I have a hernia that I'm supposed to get fixed, but I'm afraid I'm gonna. I'm afraid I'm gonna die. Oh, so that's I got it. I, I got. I thought it was that you went crazy after your dad passed. I thought that was the connection. No, no, you were crazy before. No, I was not. I was. I've always been fine. I'm the only one with common sense. Everybody else is like, I think confrontation is a good name, and I. That's what I feel. I feel. We've been through everything I'm feeling. I feel of like we do. <laughs> I feel like this is a good guy to marry. <laughs> it's worked out. I, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in general. That's why, you know, that's why they play like music and, and, and women's stores because women will buy stuff if they hear a song they like because you're dumb cunts. That's another good name for a, a <laughs> dumb show, cunts. dumb cunts. Just don't spell it with C, you're off the hook. That's the truth. The K is, is, the K is clutch. This like he man women haters club bullshit. Does it is this like still satisfying for you? It's twenty twenty one. Who are you talking to? You. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm playing a character. <laughs> is that it? I like everybody. <laughs> no, I'm fair because I don't like dudes either. I mean, I like teams to Tim, but you know, it's not like I like. <laughs> not like I, I. I mean, I've had feuds with Lenny, Brian McCarthy's, you know, blind guys and all kinds of. Uh, Gary Goldman, big guys, Jimmy Martinez. So Your it's brother? Like I, it's, not like, it's not like I get along with all dudes and, you know, it's like- And hate girls, right? Yeah, it's just, I don't, I, I'm not, you know, I just won't put up you with people's bullshit. Life's too right. short. Right. You're not yeah, wrong. but I mean, we're not bullshit. You just think our idea is stupid. We're not like fucking fake assholes. Huh? We're not bullshit. We're not bullshit. Yeah, but why are you we doing the podcast? Why are you doing the podcast? Um, Because we're having fun doing it. And yeah. that's all. Okay. We have we, the time and we, we the have love the and the money will follow. <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's the it. exact same bullshit we've been telling ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. Because we we're a bunch of fucking women. It's like yeah. Oprah shit. It's Oprah shit. You're love, absolutely right. We will get listeners and the money will follow. That's exactly what we've been saying. And there is a void with podcasts. There's not a lot of podcasts out there. So this is a good time to jump in. <laughs> You're like the hundredth person. Look, to say that we to have. Me. <laughs> I have more people listening than they listened to when I was doing it with Ken. And I do think that. Look, I don't know what's going to happen, but what honestly, was your podcast with Ken called? Why bother? Why bother? Which yeah. you all oh, yeah. shit what's on that, that name. You're like, why is anyone going to listen to that? 
<laughs> yeah, it's like Lenny's Four Corners. We're killing time, so kill it with us. It's like, what? But that's what a lot of these listeners do. They just fucking listen to podcasts yeah, after podcasts. Yeah, but they're podcasts. not going to listen to yours. Why bother? Why bother? No, but that's gone. Nobody, no. Kind of right, yeah. yeah, but even when you told me that, I was like, mm, why bother? Yeah. You have to, you want to get, you know, you want to make it. Misery Loves Company is a nice name. I'm not going to shit on your name, but it's not like the greatest fucking name ever. I know. I didn't come up with it. Burning Bridges was a better name. and Burning Bridges is a great name. I came up with that. So why don't you rename this shit? Because it's just, it's not worth it. And plus, I already already did, I burnt that bridge. You can't take the name with you? They own it? No, I own it. I own it. He got fired from Kumia. That's another one. I didn't get fired from Kumia. Yeah, I got fired from Kumia. <laughs> I can't say it. It's not I true. I didn't get, say- huh? No, you. I thought that's what happened. Yeah, I got fired. For what? Insubordination? I don't, I don't know. I thought that's no what No one you gets said. fired from Kumia. Nobody's ever gotten fired from Kumia. Oh, then you just decide to stop. They, they have Bill Schultz there four days a week, but they fired me. Okay. That's how you know they don't fire anybody. Bill Schultz is there four days a week <laughs> go to bill schultz's uh youtube channel with joanne you can find on joanne's twitter and uh they they it's amazing they still they're like you guys they're like they we feel like this is a <laughs> good <cute> idea <laughs> they have a they have a youtube page where their the viewer they have viewers they put up youtube clips and it has like 82 views it's like <laughs> why 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 are you bothering just stop we feel Look, Bill, they've been Bill's doing a, their show for a really long time. Bill's so I can a lady understand too. Why 82 Bill's a lady too. Bill's a lady. <laughs> Bill's like, I feel like this is the right thing to do as a lady. I don't know if Bill's a lady. Bill's Bill's not a man. Bill's always been nice to me when I've done the show, but then you told me I couldn't come on this one anymore if I did his ever again. So that yeah, which well, I that's, you can like, do that. I gave you permission to do it. Go in as a mole. You. <laughs> And report back. Report what am back I looking findings. to find out? Anything. Just record every conversation. There's been okay. Uh, I, I would consider that's another that. episode. <laughs> undercover. Going cunt. undercover. Cunt. Undercover right. cunt. <laughs> they have Joanne hates April Fool's pranks. Six days ago, seventy-four views. Real estate and spring break report. <laughs> One week ago, 52 views. Oy. Joanne refuses to dine duck vagina. To what? What? Joe, Joe refuses to hey. dine duck vagina. 54 views one week ago. Insane in the mukbang, St. Patrick's edition. <laughs> one month ago, 244 <laughs> views. Pretty good. Pretty good. Army hammer time. One month ago. But they must have a lot of listeners to stay on Kumia, right? Well, you're dumb. You're dumb. I just said they don't <laughs> fire anybody. They don't care if you have any listeners. It's it's they don't they're they're they don't know what they're doing. So they're like, Joe, Bill and Joy must they're like as dumb as you. They must have a lot of <laughs> listeners. All they have to do is check. I'm sure they can gauge them, but no, they keep them on because I, I don't know. But nobody listens to the show. And when you go on their show, you get a lot of heat on uh Twitter. No, I honestly. Rita, you have 40 followers on Twitter. I had to delete my old Twitter. That's why, because I was getting death threats over the summer. From what? From who? Saying bad things about Trump. And it was mostly your listeners who were giving me the death threats, by the way. Well, they're passionate. Wait, they are passionate. He was just there. He's like, yeah. <laughs> That's what the kind person of, they were really smiles. giving you death threats? A few threats? of them got me to me enough. Yeah, that I was like, oh, I just want to take a break from Twitter. And I thought I was taking a break. But then two weeks later, Twitter deleted my fucking account. So I've like... Oh, I didn't know that. Kind of started over now, which is annoying. No, they don't do that. They don't, they don't delete you if you take a break. Yeah, if you they only will suspend it for like two weeks, I think is the minimum. You have to restart it. If you do it longer than that, it's gone. That's total nonsense. You, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. No, so, I, I I mean it happened to me. Something no, I'm happened, sure it but, happened, but not but that. Ridiculous. They don't. If you don't tweet for two weeks, they they delete your account. No, to- I inactivated it. I went into hiding, and when I inactivated it, they only let you inactivate it for two weeks. And then they'll just get rid of you. I think it's because they need those, like they need the names. They don't, the they don't just, yeah, the handles. No, they don't. I don't know what it, well, I don't know what, what it was, is. I don't fucking work for Twitter, okay? 
Ritu Chandra. <laughs> what? It's very popular, the Ritu Chandra. I'm sure everybody. Oh, yeah. Wants. People are fighting okay. over that. There was a bidding war at her. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <Is it> bi- <laughs> yeah, people are throwing all their Bitcoins behind it and everything. Oh, my God. Stop. That's hysterical. So, anyway, I had to start over. That's all. That's what happened. I think I, just, I tweeted some bad things about Trump, and then I. I don't know. People are fucking crazy. I had the left come after me too because I said, uh, I wish, I almost wish I said something racist just so people would try to cancel me. And they're like, you wish you said something racist, you fucking bitch. Yeah, you can't win either way. I was like, I was, it was just an attempt at humor. This like, I don't know. People, shit got fucked up. I needed to just go into hiding. Yeah, Twitter's very, uh, you got to take one side or the other politically on Twitter. You can't be in the middle. Yeah, that's bullshit, that. though. But this is the thing. It's like, I I just don't even, like, it gets a little scary because all my inf- all our information's online. Like, you type someone's name in, you can have their fucking address and all that shit. So when you start, you start feeling vulnerable. I already got my kid, my husband's, like his fucking sperm babies coming after us. I don't need these fucking crazies on Twitter too. So what? what's sperm like, I told you this, he was a sperm donor and his mm-hmm. kids found us now. And they like fucking try, been trying to contact and shit like you that. Didn't tell me that. Oh fuck. Yeah. That was last year. That was our Wait, fun man. last year. We too. We got to get them on. Wait, so yeah, your husband yeah. sold sperm? Yeah. He's like, Harvard, like six two blonde blue eye. He sold lots of sperm. I was gonna say they'll be. We just had to tell them you gotta fucking shut down the sperm sales now because we've had enough. We've had enough. So So they came to him and said, "What we want? We want to meet dad." They yeah, basically, basically they they wanted wanted, money. They're not getting money. I'm getting the money, but they wanted like who wanted to speak to him. One of his daughters figured out that she. Well, she figured it out from my Facebook and my podcast and also from 23andMe because one of my husband's cousins did 23andMe and she matched with him. And then did the searching. And then did the searching. And Wait, that 20, cousin the, only 23, has- 23andMe will tell you who you're matched with? If you say you want to be open. So like my yes. kid did it and we knew that there were sperm babies out there. So we never, we're like, you can find out what the fuck you are, but you can't connect with anybody else. So we didn't like, we didn't click that button or whatever. But but the, his fucking cousin clicked the fucking button and opened up our lives. So oh. yeah. How, so much, she- how much sperm of his is out there still? Like, do you know how many kids he could potentially have? I have a feeling that he has at least seven kids. <gasps> what? Yeah. That's what I feel. Again, again, a woman saying, I have a feeling. No, I feel this is based on, I have a, on, I have on a evidence. feeling based on the song I just listened to that it's seven. <laughs> it's the fucking evidence. And it was what this lady put the, his daughter put. But you didn't say you said, I have a feeling. I have a feeling deep Kevin inside like my <laughs> deep inside my womb that it's seven. <laughs> all right. I don't have a feeling. It's like seven kids. All right. Seven. Based wow. on what? Based on what? Based on what she wrote to us, because she, through 23andMe, has connected with her siblings. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. And my husband's home. So nobody he's like anticipated so happy this. I'm talking about this. Right nobody now. anticipated this with the sperm things. No, Selling but they're not. Sperm. It wasn't that. It was that nobody anticipated that fucking 23andMe. That's would what be I a said. Thing. That's right, what I'm saying. Right. I'm saying when you sold your sperm back in the 60s, there was no you didn't think there was going to be a 23andMe. <laughs> Ritu, he's like With grade A though. Yeah, he's if like. If anyone knows paper. his resume, you're going right. for him. Yeah, totally. Oh, Blonde shit. hair, blue eyed. You know, over six tall, feet tall, Harvard. athletic, Harvard. Can't dunk. Can't dunk. No, but he could wrestle your ass to the ground. Remember, he's a yes. state champion wrestler. Half gay. You don't even care. If <laughs> most dunk. most wrestlers are at least half gay. Look, I won't say he looks straight in a singlet. I've seen pictures, but oh nobody looks God. straight in a singlet. Way too much touching of, of other men yeah. in, their private, <laughs> in their private areas, their thighs this and their groins. This is how Kevin gets headbutted in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah, but you don't care, though. If you if the sperm is potentially gay, but he went to Harvard, I don't care. Shoot me up. That's how I feel. Like, I think that's worth it. Yeah, does it matter? I don't Kevin? think so. I'm not talking about the gay. I'm talking about like, uh, you guys act like it's unbelievable. Can, <laughs> what? Six foot two. I'd rather have a guy who can dunk. Just give me somebody who can dunk. 
So five foot five, who can dunk? I don't want but... a fucking wrestler. Hey, my son's a wrestler. Who gives a shit? My no, son's I don't a, want, like, in the, my son's all state in basketball. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear he's some fucking wrestler. Now we got to take this out. <laughs> Three forty five, Adam. <laughs> Why does it have to be taken out? I, you got to take out everything now. Because I, 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 I might put this on YouTube. I don't know the rules. I tried to explain last week. <laughs> Nobody knows the rules. Nobody knows the rules. So it's like, uh, you know, I was trying to explain to Gino uh, that, you know, uh, 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 what's his face? Shane Gillis didn't know the rules. Shane Gillis thought he knew the rules. He didn't know the rules. Owen Benjamin, I was just reading some, somebody... What was I just reading? Somebody oh. got, if you get canceled or like Alex Smith, Alex Jones, yeah. Alex Jones, somebody does a podcast where they just, just, they break down Alex Jones's show, which actually yeah. sounds pretty funny. But the thing is, Alex Jones is off of everything now. Once you're off mm. of everything, it looks cool, but it fucks up, it fucks you up. Right. It fucks up your brand. Like Owen, right. ben Owen Benjamin's off of everything. I had to get him on my show. But he's off of everything now because and it, it was it's cool and then it's like getting kicked out of school like you're the coolest guy so you get kicked out of school and then you're like oh, they kicked me out of school yeah and then then you can't get into another school and then now you're working at McDonald's so the benefit no of our you. podcast is since no one will listen to it we will never get canceled from anything that's true. Like, what are you going to cancel? Yeah, you can look at it like that way, but you know, I, I mean, you want people you want people to listen to your show. You want people to yeah. like. You want to have fans that give a shit about your show. So I you mean, your fans are best. die hard. Your fans. Yeah, my love fans will go to you. war. They have. They will go to war. <laughs> my it's fans fight up. each other. <laughs> I my do appreciate. I do want to tell your fans how much I appreciate when they comment on my boobs. It's always appreciated. They were paid for. So I, I love that. Some of the other stuff they could, uh, you know, leave me alone, but they're not going to. <laughs> Got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> Got to take the good with the bad. That's right. That's, that's because I look you, at it. you were supposed to make me your co-host. Yeah, that's well, I'm not. I'm not doing a co-host. I know, I know you're not, but like that would have. I would never have a lady co-host. I already had. Lenny. It would have made you so much more <laughs> likable if you had had a lady. No, I'll never have a lady co-host because there'd be crossover. You could have angry women mm. who watch your podcast no. instead of just angry no. men. No, no, we first of all, no. <laughs> if they, like when I ask Chad to do the show, I can give Chad 20 minutes notice and he'll do the show. You have to give a woman like three days notice to do anything. It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. Oh my God. It'll never change. I ask a woman to do a show. I'm like, if I ask a woman to do a show that day, it's I might as well I might as well rape her. You know what I mean? It's like oh that's how that's how offended they are <laughs> with that kind of a with that kind of a breach of protocol. Like I, you're asking me the day of? I could ask Chad it's oh I give God, Chad seven so minutes. Funny. But you can't give, you have to give a proper lady eight days notice. Like, <laughs> you want it this week? This oh, week, I'm really all bored. Patty Rossboro, <laughs> this week, I gotta, I gotta make some dolls. So I, I love that. Patty. I, I already tell, I do too, but I already dealt with Lenny. Lenny's as close as I'll I get to make dolls. That's so podcast. Lenny was the same way, like, Oh, I, I, I don't, I uh, know I can't, we can't do it at one o'clock. We do it I at know, four. Yeah. We never switch times. Cause Lenny, Lenny's like a lady. He's like, no, I have my schedule. <laughs> I do my, I have my schedule. I do this and then I do that. Well, see, I, I'm not going to defend Lenny, but I could see you doing that all the time. And that might get old. Was it no, like I don't do it all the time. I don't do it all the time. And I, okay. no, Lenny had a problem from the, from day one. Like like most ladies, they're offended if you ask them to do something last minute because they're they're on their schedule. Lenny was on a very strict schedule. I got to go right home and watch the Yankees pregame. <laughs> I mean, it was so sad. I'm just thinking about it, it makes me because I in a documentary that you've been too busy to watch. The guy broke down. Do a I lot have to pay for it, or are you going to give it to me for free? You're an idiot. No. It's on YouTube. Yeah, who okay. who? Why would why? Who's going to watch it if you have to pay for it? Your fans, I'll watch so, it for free. I'll so watch a guy it would make a do I didn't make the documentary. Okay. Well, you Somebody think I made asked. a doc? You think I made a documentary about myself? I, maybe you have. All, how would I? How how would I? How would I? I don't even know how to work my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna make a movie about myself. I figured you had someone make it for Adam, you. Are you dying over there? Yeah, I had someone make it for me because I'm in a real estate game and I want a nice <laughs> tutorial made about me so I can show it to the people before they make a. <laughs> Wow, I, I feel sorry for your husband. If he's grade A, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what he's doing with you. 
Now, now I'm actually I getting think mad. that was a stupid thing to say. I've said way dumber. I mean, this is fucking. Yeah, but you act like you're so smart. You're like, well, do I have to pay? I don't no. act like I'm smart. That was a, uh, me asking if I have to fucking pay is ask, is me acting like I'm smart. Kevin, <laughs> come on. This doesn't fucking make any sense. How many five hour energies did you have? This doesn't make any sense. You have to pay for your podcast now. I don't know if I have to fucking pay to watch this fucking doc. I get Plus it. You I say don't. you have money anyway, so what do you care? It's because free. I'm not paying it's for free, you. But it's free, but but uh, well, why do you care? You're rich, right? It's the principle. I want to wow. put money in your pocket necessarily. Wow. Yeah. All right. I hope all these fucking kids come and haunt you. I hope they haunt, <laughs> haunt you in your. You You're gonna start dream. the war on Twitter now, I guess. I hope you wake up. I hope you they all come to your house one day, all seven all or all the sperm babies. Yeah, they all come together in a van. What are they gonna do? They're gonna be like, help us. You could they could they could probably if they get a lawyer, they could probably get kind of lawsuits, like a class action lawsuit. I don't think they can get any money. And I think that if they did that, we'd probably be able to sue the sperm bank and make a lot of money. Who's the sperm bank? I don't know. Some place. I in used Boston. to work at a sperm bank. Say more. Yeah. I got, I got fired for drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> is that really true? <laughs> no, yeah, you gotta is pay. That true? You gotta pay for that joke. Because <laughs> nothing's free. You didn't think that was true, did you? Oh, I got really well, excited. You guys, I, like, I got a new great. name for your show, Dumb and Dumber. Wow. <laughs> Well, you guys, was that true? Yeah, I got fired from drinking on the job at the sperm bank. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, I guess I just have low standards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, broken, you, you, Kevin. What do you, you want? Never, <laughs> sperm, you never huh? thought about doing that to make money, donate sperm? A lot of guys think about it. I was a doing college that. dropout, so I don't think they wanted my sperm. Probably not. But you're tall. Did I, I am on the rowing team at Yale. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm, I'm going to row right to the sperm bank. Look, I got my rower. I'm a sport nobody cares about. Can you? Are you a wrestler? Yeah, I like to grab men in their thigh and crotch area and pin them to the ground like a race. Why is every sport so sexual? I like it. All, 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 all wrestlers are, are rapists in training. How do you, how do you grab somebody and pin them to the ground? It's creepy. It's a creepy sport. I think I, it is a creepy sport. And it's to be unnecessary. Honest. It's unnecessary. Be one he thing doesn't do it things. anymore. That would be super creepy if he was still running around the house in his single. They're like adult wrestling team. Right? Like adult yeah. Nobody yeah, was all state and something stops. cool, but all state and he wrestling. He was all state in football and in track and fields. Right. And right. Just keep naming things. I'll be like, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> You I'm sure you're not me. lying. I sent you the fucking newspaper you give your, article last you time. Give your, that was wrestling, and you give yourself fake reviews, so you'll lie about anything. Oh my god, I'm not gonna. Lie I have, I have, I, I. At some point, people were trolling my reviews on MLC. They were giving me fake bad ones because were they fake? Yeah, no, because some, some. Uh, I got, a, ones. I got. You remember when that lady, the guy was in a, was in a racing, and he slapped that reporter in the ass. Yeah, it was it was in the news for a while. Anyway, okay. he he was running a race like a 10k, and he 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 gave this reporter. She was doing a live uh, report thing, and then he he smacked her in the ass. So I said, "Well, you should be thankful you have such an easy job." So anyway, I got I got it went viral. <laughs> it went viral on Twitter in a bad way. In a bad uh, way. Yeah, sounds like it. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> so then everybody was like, all these reviews. They're trying to troll me on on. Um, Give me shitty reviews on MLC. It was pretty hilarious. That Isn't was it actually, impossible. Sorry. That was when my Twitter got hacked. Oh, I what? got I got kicked off of somebody because it was right around that time. I I started to get messages asking me why I work with you, That's stuff like shit. that. And then wow. just all mysteriously, one day I got locked out of my Twitter account and I couldn't figure out how to get back in. And they told me somebody hacked it and like changed the. I didn't really care because I don't. I'm not on Twitter very much, but. So did you get it back or you had to start a yeah. new one? No, I got it back. So who it. told you? Twitter told you you got they they you got hacked? Yeah, because one day it would but it was right around that time that was <laughs> you were very controversial. Oh, and, I'm so uh, edgy. Very, <laughs> and uh it, I just wasn't able to ever get into my Twitter account. And that's what they told me. Somebody hacked it wow. and then they changed the 
they locked me out. They changed the <laughs> like the password. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hilarious. Were they tweeting as you? No, that was that was what I was worried about. Like, so I checked point, right. Then? I checked right away on my desk to, to. I mean, I don't it know. Disable. What yeah, happened to Chad that's... too? They someone hacked Chad's account and then tw- was tweeting as Chad. That's funny. Well, that yeah, was... that's good shit then. Yeah, that was I'm... that was good stuff. And Chad was Chad. Chad thought it was funny until they started tweeting as him, and then he was like, "Oh, that's not cool." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but so I I know that you're saying these are fake reviews. Isn't it possible they listened to the podcast and absolutely no, hated it and then no. wrote those reviews? I don't no. I don't care. I, I don't I you think people if they first of all, my podcast is amazing. Everybody knows that. And so second of all, even if I get bad reviews, I'll I'll just I'll read them on I'll read them on the air. I'm not yeah. I'm not running from I, I think that I think trolls are as long as they're clever are better than people kissing your ass. So if it's it was a really genuinely shitty review. Where they where they're shitting on me, I was like, I, I I would enjoy it, but if they're just saying like this guy's a creep and he hates women, which is all true, but I mean, if, <laughs> if, if, if you can tell if they've listened to the show or not. I mean, you're really not the fucking creep you want everyone to believe you are. Because like the first- Maybe you, I am, maybe I am. Every time I see you in person, you're maybe a little I, scary, but then you're super sweet. We've had, we've like hung out and you've been a normal fucking person. You have. Everybody out there, Kevin can be a normal fucking person. We've had meals together and you behaved properly. Not And you haven't like yelled at me the whole time or told me I'm dumb. Yeah, because Ken was there. I didn't want to make a scene in front of no, Ken. No, it's not just because Ken was there. That's it. You took me to that shitty you diner in New Jersey. Yeah, I did. After we did that gig, no, and then I went. I, I stop it. That's all I say. Stop it. You can be. No, I feel you know bad. This. I felt bad because I did the gig in Connecticut, and uh, I was shitting on Barry Ribs, and then right after the show, I was just just talking to him regular. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what you do when people know, kind of like, accept that with I'm you. Like, I'm like, what's wrong? I, even as I'm sitting there <laughs> talking, I'm like, I'm like, shouldn't I be, shouldn't I be making fun of him still? And then I was like, eh. there's no audience. <laughs> there's no, there's no, no one listening. No one's listening. What's the point? I might as well be normal if no one's listening because you get no. You don't, oh, you so don't that's get any, not. I think that's you the real any, you. You don't get it. No, no, no. You don't get any fans. There's two me's. There's sexy Kevin. <laughs> Sexy podcast Kevin and then regular Kevin. So I had regular Kevin when we've like hung out and you've been normal. No, I can't be sexy all the time. I'm not Joe Namath. So it's like, <laughs> so yeah, Namath. when I ha- Joe Namath is a rep. <laughs> if I hang be- out, if I hang out, I'm, if I'm eating, I'm not going to be all trying to be all sexy and <laughs> yeah, it's too much work. No, I'm not going to be making fun of people. Be like, I'm not going to be Don Rickles. I hear Don Rickles does that, but he Don does. Rickles. It tells the same five stories whenever you hang out with them. It's the same. You have genuinely stories. not hated. I won't say enjoy. Well, you have genuinely not hated my company sometimes. I've given you rides and shit, and things have been fine, and you've been that's, fine. That's okay. I'm in a car. I need a ride. What am I going to do? Insult you? What, and then you're going <laughs> to drop me off at the fucking bus station? I'll have to take the train home. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. I know your your name is dumb. <laughs> uh your husband shouldn't shouldn't have sold his sperm and uh and whatever and you're too cheap to pay for my podcast so whatever no. that's good you mean doc that's three dollars three dollars <laughs> each episode yeah okay. each episode is three dollars that's a and the documentary the documentary is free it's on okay. porcelain youtube slash youtube what does we always say youtube.com <laughs> forward slash i love people go forward slash <laughs> like come on <laughs> www yeah. forward slash forward slash that's how you know ray devito says that i just want to go ray just ray go back to cleveland <laughs> forward slash he did go back to cleveland didn't he yeah but then he's back he, he oh, he's back. He that's a great name for a podcast too forward slash <laughs> youtube.com porcelain p-o-r-s-a-l-i-n why do they spell it weird? Yeah, why do they spell it that way? That's his name, no or that's the name. He, huh? No one's huh. gonna find it. Everyone, he has, he's doing fine. He's doing better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows about him. Just like me, everybody knows about him. Everybody knows about me. Like me. Everybody knows, and not everybody pays my podcast, but everybody knows what I'm doing. And everybody knows what Porcelain's doing too. So don't worry about him for a fucking second. Okay, I won't, I won't. He's got thousands and thousands. You would suck. You would suck. Uh, 
Oh, you know who I saw? Speaking of that, I saw Will Sylvans today, Adam. Oh my God! What a suck! Uh, Where did you see Will Sylvans? I stopped my I went uh, whatever. I just I stopped my bike at this fucking store at the Korean store. Is that racist to call it the Korean store? Uh, no. Anyway, I stopped my bike at the Korean store and I I was locking it up and I I saw Will. I don't know if he saw me. He probably did because he probably crossed the street. I saw him like crossing the street. <laughs> Was walking this in Jersey walking City? Out, yeah, walking away from me. And I was like, oh, that's Will Sylvans. He might have saw me and then crossed the street. So I wouldn't see him, but I saw him anyway. Do more people cross the street when they see you or say, hey, Kevin, what's up? What's, uh, what's... I got it. Oh, you're razzing me. Which one is it, though? I'm curious, uh, honestly. Good-natured ribbing. <laughs> I am honestly curious. I'm going to get you on Bobby Kelly's show. Good-natured <laughs> ribbing. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Any more questions? Um, for you, what else? We we I think we we're leaving here with some valuable advice, right, Jack? Absolutely. Yeah, we Jack, appreciate. You got it. a husband? I do. So you guys are just you guys are just doing. It's like it's like a bridge club. You guys are really. <laughs> it's, it's like mahjong, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you're not. You have no intention. You're like, we'll just keep it how we have it because no one's going to listen or care. And plus, we have husbands. We're modern <laughs> women. We're modern women, except we have husbands that pay for everything, right? Oh right, modern God. ladies? We're modern, We're modern lady. lady. Oh, Come you on, sound modern like ladies. Mother, so. Let's go out there and do a <laughs> podcast. Just gals. Where we don't make any money because my husband pays for everything. Um. <laughs> Hey, we're Jackie edgy. Works. We're I do edgy. Work, but <laughs> Jackie works, and and we both do comedy. We both have comedy money. Jackie, who pays the mortgage or the rent? Well, we both do, but there's a sliding scale. <laughs> I bet there is. I bet there is. Okay, good for you. Anyway. <laughs> We're a couple of ladies. We're a couple of modern ladies, but we have we don't have a modern relationship when it comes to paying the bills. That I would in that the bills case if we're I had old a fashioned. Job. I was gonna My say. husband pays everything. <laughs> My husband pays everything, but because I'm a modern lady. Did you do we refer to ourselves as modern ladies? No, oh, you think you're modern though. We have a <laughs> podcast. We have a I modern. I don't think I'm podcast. modern. We got some high tech equipment. We're going to do a podcast <laughs> from home. Oh my god, this is too good. It's fair. It's accurate. Okay, Adam, accurate. we're not going to argue with you. Adam, no. if we if we put this Kevin's podcast right. on if we put this podcast on YouTube, we're going to call it Tim Dillon discusses gay sex. <laughs> Love it. That's what we do now. Write we, it we, down. We it we, down. we we we. We get edgy topics, even though we don't even discuss it, because that's how YouTube works. It doesn't and matter. People find it. Yeah, you, they don't care. We we did a thing last week. Mark Norman talks about DMX. <laughs> nobody, oh my nobody god, saw that. that was one of my favorite titles. YouTube doesn't. YouTube doesn't care as long as you're not cursing. <laughs> nothing to saying, do with or, or saying the N word. Oh my god, that's so genius. Yeah, of we course. Start doing yes. that. You don't have to. No one. No one's gonna. Re, you can't. Even if they report you, they'd be like, "Hey, you got to talk about what this. What the title is." We do. All right. Okay, we're talking about now. Uh, Tim Dillon talks about gay sex. Uh huh. All right, we talked about it. Anyway, there you go. Genius. There yeah. you go, YouTube. More, more, Kevin, you should be consulting. I am gonna consult. I am you should consulting. seriously. Because people are just people are dumb. They they do stuff. I have a feeling this is a good idea. Whenever you say that, you know it's a bad idea. If you have a feeling, <laughs> I have a feeling this guy's a good. He's a good egg. I have a feeling. I hate this. This is so true. And of course, the guy has the like a. Fucking, we had the lady on last week. She she's like I. He was a real nice guy till I found out he was married. But I had a feeling that he was. A, <laughs> what. Kevin doesn't have because women That's women don't like women shade. don't like facts and information. They like feelings. So, but if you look at the facts and the information, it's it's life is life is not as complicated as, as you make it. Anyway. Tell us. No, yeah, I did. Tell, I told you. I told. Tell you. us the female. I told experience. you. Don't call it confrontation. So that whenever anybody asks you, go confrontation. No, well, yeah, confrontation, but with a, yeah, you know, <laughs> the U, there's a U in there. There might that be you're a That you're 100% right on. That's I don't like, know. I'm so confused. You know. But we had a feeling it was a good idea. But we had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're absolutely Adam, right. call this episode, I had a feeling. I was just going to say. <laughs> like I had a dream. I had a dream. I, I, I Anyway. 
This went way better than I expected. How about that guy? I I had a feeling this was going to be terribly awful and it was just fine. So I feel great. Because I'm very good at this. I feel great. I was scared as fuck of you and you you weren't that bad. I Thank you. What I do is I take lemons and I make a lemonade. (laughs) Change it to that. A lemon. lemon. That's better than some of the other. No, I take lemonade and turn it back into lemons. That's why. (laughs) Because I'm so bitter. You're bitter, aren't you? I am bitter. You are bitter, but that's part of your charm. I'm I'm a bitter man. (laughs) I'm gonna. I don't think you're bitter because you're a man. You're just bitter. No, that's not what I'm you're saying. Not, I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a, it doesn't do with the sex. You can be bitter. It doesn't matter. You can be a bitter kid or bitter. You can be a bitter dog. No, but uh, um, when I had to, when I saw Will Sylvans, I was like, oh shit. This is like my, cause I've been dream. I've been having like a lot of dreams about New York comics. So when I saw Will Sylvans, I'm like, oh shit, here we go. It's getting Did you closer get in a fight and closer. With him too, right? First it's in my dreams. And then it's like, oh shit. They're, they're actually in my real life now. You may have have you started it. performing at the cellar again? Nope. So they're coming. You're going to see them soon. I'm holding out. <laughs> you are for more I'm money. Waiting. What are you holding out for? No, I'm waiting till it's now they're allowed to open till twelve. Uh oh, Lenny can do a late spot. <laughs> <laughs> the governor said you can only stay up until twelve. Lenny, god damn it! <laughs> I like the early shows. I like the when Cuomo said we had to be home by eleven. <laughs> Those are Lenny hours. Hey, everybody. Hey, honey, I'm it. home. It's not even 11 o'clock. We let's watch the news together. How'd the Yankees do? You're waiting for everything to stay open later. So there's Yay. like, you're not going to run into no, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for things to be back to normal or something. I didn't want to go back when everybody was hugging and be like, oh, so great to see you. I, it's like, <laughs> I can't see you doing that. <laughs> it's like, no, that's why I didn't want to do it. It was yeah, like, it's like being around New Year's Eve at midnight. I like to show up at like 1.30 when everyone's, when all the <laughs> fucking out of the way. <laughs> and all the hugging and kissing is out of the way. <laughs> No affection for you. That's no. Crazy. I just it's disgusting. It's, it's phony. Like, I don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to see like. Oh, it's so great to see you. I just want to. When, whenever when that's done, I'll, then I'll show up. I mean, it's not Makes always sense. phony. Some people are happy oh, to see other people. Oh, thank you, mom. <laughs> if people are good, deep down, people are good. Thanks, no, mom. But, see, I'm not saying they are. I'm just you gotta look on the bright <laughs> side. Why don't you look on the bright side? It's not people, always phony. Not all people fucking hate each other's guts. That's what I'm saying. Okay. What? I don't even know what so what does this have to do with me? Because you're like saying no, you're I'm saying a... it's you're saying it's all phony. I'm saying it's no, not. No, I'm not. I'm saying I don't want to be around it. I don't want to be around people pretend like uh happy to see each other. They of course they're happy to see each other. They're losers. They've got nothing <laughs> going on. Most of the people working to sell there have nothing going on. they they do a podcast like you, no one listens to it. <laughs> so they they Maybe have no life, the they have no <laughs> life, and they're they're waiting for the fucking club to open. So I'm busy. I got people are making documentaries about me and people are talking about me nonstop. And uh, I feel it. I feel the buzz in the air. I literally (laughs) feel a buzz in the air, people (laughs) buzzing about me. So I don't need to go back to Sally and be like, oh, look who it is, Michelle Wolf. What a pleasure. (laughs) What a genuine pleasure to see your fucking dumb red hair. Hey, Mark Norman, are you still are you still upbeat energy wise? Great. <laughs> Gary Gumman, are you still a raging, violent <laughs> fucking Jew? Good news. Hey, Lenny, let's see you skip. <laughs> well, the pandemic has not changed Kevin at all. It's made me even more committed to being Kevin. <laughs> That's good. That is good. <laughs> I'm not if, so, uh, looking back. It's like when I look back at when I saw the documentary, I look back at some of my, some of the things and I was like, yeah, I didn't like that, Kevin. So, (laughs) so, so now I'm like, now I'm looking back. I'm like some of the things. Yeah. So yeah, my standup's going to be a little different and everything's going to be a little different, but it's going to be a little bit more Kevin. A little more Kevin. I like it. (laughs) I like when we talk about Kevin. Change the title to a little, little bit more Kevin. (laughs) I was just gonna say that's definitely the title. No, don't say that. I'm looking forward to seeing more Kevin. That's too gay. That's too gay. Keep it the way. (laughs) No, keep it the way it was. What was what? What did we have? We had a couple of options. I had a feeling, and I take lemons and make lemonade. No, to call, it, call it. I have a feel. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay. Yeah, because that's what it is. I had a feeling this is going to be a this is going to be a good show. You 
is a good show. I had a feeling he was going to be a solid husband until he, he cheated on me. And he found out, on. Until I found out he had another family. <laughs> the sperm babies are coming back. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the lady we had on last week. She's like, yeah, we had a, we had, yeah. He was dating a guy. He was, he was real nice. I had a feeling he was going to be the one. And then he had, he was, <laughs> then he had another family. And I was like, oh, no wonder. No wonder he's good at this because he has another family to practice with. <laughs> that's why guys guys who guys who have like a lot of game it's probably because they're they're good at it and women are falling for it and they get a lot of practice at being fucking sleazy uh uh douchebags but women women fall for it because i had a feeling he's a he's a, he's a good guy animals like him he's good with kids <laughs> I, I saw him i saw him pet a dog he pet oh a dog God. That was Kevin, can nice you come talk. on for dating advice, please? <laughs> he's so nice. He's, he's like, oh, I like no, dogs. Might, I like dogs and kids. On. Then he bought me a balloon. <laughs> he's a nice man. Until he I find out he had a family. This is what we're missing. I know. Um, but we actually have nice men. Oh, no. Me and Jackie. Nice men. Is that the guy doing he the dishes? He doesn't care. Who's doing the dishes? Your yeah. husband? My husband. I was like, not me. No, my so son. Wait, you're, it's you're, my son. Oh, so I was going to say, he he works, he pays the bills, and then you make him do the dishes too? I do sometimes make him do things around the house. It's He's capable. Okay, well, you're capable. Get a fucking job. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to argue your son's with you. 18? What are you going to wait till you're, <laughs> you're wait till your son's in college? <laughs> He's oh, 13. shit, my son's in college. Now I should get a fucking job. Well, I have a feeling our podcast oh, is no, going to take off. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that will bring in lots of money. Okay. That's well, my those, feeling. Those days, are, that ship sailed. <laughs> Why bother? Why bother? We're bothering. We're going to bother. Oh, God damn it. Well, we would say follow our podcast, but it's probably going to be renamed. By the well, next still, time. you can find it under our name still. That's true. Yeah. Put it on your Twitter. Put it on your Twitter. <laughs> Don't put it put it somewhere. East. That's another yes. piece of advice I'll give you. Put I remember when, when, I used to check, when I used to check Patty Rossborough's Twitter to see if she put a, a link to her Patreon, even to nothing. She had a yeah. link to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we like, hey, that. I live upstate and I like dolls. <laughs> It's like what, Patty? Are you are you dumb, Patty? Are you trying to fail? Just put a link. Make it easy for them. Put a Patreon link. Put a yeah, we'll put a link. Put just put a link to your show. Don't because they're not gonna look. Yeah. Confrontation. How many? How you spell it? Oh, we don't even know. I mean, confrontation. Sometimes it's C and T. Sometimes it's with an asterisk. Letters as Misery Loves Company. So like length. I didn't name Misery Loves Company. And ML and people don't even call it they call it MLC. So it's MLC. it got to a point where now it's just initial. So nobody cares. Right. And people call it Bernie Bridges. I don't care. Yeah. They call it whatever they want, but they everybody knows about me because I'm universal. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> universal. I like how Ritu's there. Gotta, Somebody, I gotta, somebody's tea's ready, I think. Do I got to pay for that? Yeah. Whatever, whatever is going on. Yeah. Do I have to pay for that? Here's your order. Do I have to pay for that at Starbucks? I don't want to pay to watch a documentary. That's why I was asking. make a documentary for sale? A lot of people <laughs> make documentaries would, huh? for sale. Who? I, I, lots of people. You had to pay to see someone's a documentary. Name one in the history of time where you had to pay, unless it was at the movie theater. There's, there's no such thing. It's like a lot of the stuff on Amazon and Netflix you have to pay for. No, you pay for Netflix. You don't pay for the individual oh, documentary. Oh, but Amazon, you have to pay for individual stuff sometimes. For sure. Okay, well, get one. Get one. I don't think they have, <laughs> they don't do a lot of documentaries. They, they do mostly movies that you have to pay for. Okay. And that's $1.99. You don't have it, Ritu? <laughs> you better check, your, better check your Pfizer stock. Oh, shit. <laughs> going up, pun intended. Get it, Pfizer, Viagra, going up. Anywho, let's close on that winner. <laughs> let's close on that Does winner. your husband get free Viagra since he works, since he used to work for he Pfizer? He used to. He used to. Did you make him um, take it? No, I gave some to another comic, actually, that you're friends with. David Stop. Tell? No, That's no, it was a gift. It was a gift. Yeah, he uh, 
He was very excited when he found out that we got it for free. And so I stole some. My husband had nothing to do with this. And uh, Vinnie Brandt? No. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry for Vinnie Brandt. <laughs> no, because he can't I, I, hear. He can't hear. I'm sure him when, you know, whatever. It's just got to be, <laughs> it's got to be a lot. It's just got to be, yeah, every time you have sex with them, you probably have to say, you talk dirty of any you got to say everything twice like, I, I like the way you did it he's like huh i like i said i like the way i think it's just one ear so you just gotta no, make I know, sure but what if you're in that ear yeah you gotta move you gotta reposition I know, every time yourself I, every time i talk to Vinny, i gotta say everything twice i'm like oh my god it's exhausting I always think, no i always think it's fun to see him and then every time i say something he goes what's that again and I was like, oh, are you coming down to and Stress some, Factory soon? Sometimes it's a joke. Sometimes it's a joke. You don't want to re- say a joke no, twice. Then it loses it. So you're like, ah, forget it, Vinny. Maybe next time. <laughs> so we can plug our podcast. No, I was there right? a lot. I was there a lot. At, oh, uh, this summer? No, in the fall. Because I was, uh, I went there. I don't forget where I went there. But then Brewer was there a lot every Tuesday. So I used to go every Tuesday to open for Brewer. Oh, cool. But then he stopped. So that was like in the fall or something. Yeah, yeah, in the fall. Right, right before Christmas. I've heard nah, it's a great nah. setup. I haven't gone down there. Mm-mm. It's not a great setup, but it's a setup. It's yeah. good. He was smart to, he was smart to, uh, He's really he smart. had a, you know what he did? He had a feeling that he was going to, no, you know, Vinny's very, Vinny's very, very practical because he said he's going to get a tent. I said, you renting? And he goes, no, you can't rent it. You got to buy it. Yeah. And he was right because if you're going to, if you're going to get a tent, and you, you know, you're going to get killed if you rent it. But if you buy, you're going to get killed once, and then you can have right. a, as many shows as you want. You know, totally. so he's, been, he's been having shows, and I think he he was really worried about uh, making money. But I think he made money. I think a lot of people out, came out when people weren't expecting that they thought they'd be scared of the virus, but everybody had kind of had it with being in their houses. No, it wasn't that. It was it, it wasn't. It was just a matter of like it was illegal. So but it was legal to do something outside. So, yeah. so, and plus when you're outside, you don't feel like, I mean, you're not going to get COVID being in Finney's tent because it's open air, you know? Right. I mean, I sat next to, I sat next to, uh, sit next to Barry. This is in October when nobody knew anything before they had any vaccines and Barry ribs. He comes over, we're sitting like at a table, but we're separated by like the table. So all of a sudden he, I'm looking at my phone or whatever. He comes over and he, puts his arm around me and takes a picture and i'm like oh my god <laughs> i'm like old man river just gave me covid <laughs> like you it's didn't... like why why would you do that barry like we're it, we're supposed to not do that and then you're like the old you're like you're the guy who picks it up you just took the fucking local train from trenton here <laughs> so of course you have it you you didn't get it though the whole time, right? COVID. I didn't get it, no. no. But I might have got it on Saturday at, at Aunt Mead's house because everybody you, f- you forget people are hugging me because I had a good show, so people wanted to take pictures and stuff. So mm. we'll see. I but I don't, don't think I got it. it because I was in I was in New York a lot right right before it closed down, and that's when it was spreading like wildfire. Yeah. Because that's you when were I, like on a bus by yourself, just live Facebooking all the yeah, time. Yeah, I was licking just poles like, and stuff. I was like eating guys' asses on the train and everything. In the and subway I still didn't by himself. No, but I was just it's like, like the, no the one week here, before the week the week before they shut it down. That's that's when it was really spreading like crazy, and they didn't know it. But then that's when New York spiked, like the end of March, beginning of April. And that's I was sad. I was out on the. That's where it was spreading on the subways, and I was on the subways, and I never got it. So I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to get it. He it's like a, I think it has something to do with blood type too. Though once it's after the fact, they'll they'll realize like they'll see like it was like AIDS. Like they thought everybody could get AIDS, and then it just turns out it was from sh- sharing needles or having homosexual sex and. And we're going to have Tim Dillon talking about that on later in this. Episode. <laughs> so then we're going to call it that on uh, YouTube. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to find out about this. It's probably going to be blood types and, and you know, mostly fatties. And that's good. And, you know, people are saying fatties. people are saying this is like a war. And I, I would, you know, too bad wars aren't like this where we lose old people and fatties. That would be a great. I would be <laughs> pro war totally. I would thought keep going <laughs> Vietnam. No, because. More we lose young, uh, handsome men, <laughs> young, healthy men, 
And that's why people hate warts because it's like we're losing our best and brightest uh, rednecks. And I'm now sorry, that was hilarious. That was now, hilarious. If, if if that's if that's who we lost in wars, fatties, take them. Fatties and old people. Fatties and old people. That's amazing. Diabetics. Anyway. Not too late to change that title. I know. I was say. What, fatties and diabetics. <laughs> fatties and old. Oh, I had a feeling. It's all about having a feeling because it's like that's how they they know what, <laughs> they know that's how women make all their big decisions on a feeling. No facts. It is true. Facts are not important. It's a well, facts feeling, count, but it's a gut it's a feeling. It's, it's a, a gut gut feeling. feeling, and they're always wrong. Well, not always. But <laughs> everybody I know is wrong. All women are wrong about feeling. My mom, every every piece of advice my mom ever gave me Women's was dead intuition. wrong. Yeah, women's intuition. Women's yeah. intuition. Yep. Just like, yeah, honey, sell your sperm. I have a feeling that's going to pay out. That's going to pay off down the road. <laughs> sell that sperm. You're a I wrestler. You're, a, you're, you're, you're an all-state wrestler, wrestler from Wyoming, a small state. <laughs> Michigan. Oh, I always get those two mixed up. Which is anyway. not a small state. Yeah, but not, right. a, not a lot of wrestlers. They all want to be, they all want to play football and basketball and baseball. Anyway, Derek Jeter's from uh, Derek, little from Derek Kalamazoo. Jeter's from, yeah. Yep, he's from Michigan. Yes, yes, and so they is. got a lot of great athletes from Michigan, but they not do. a lot of wrestlers, not a lot of famous wrestlers <laughs> from Michigan. But they got a lot of great oh, athletes Lord. over the my history My husband of time. always ends up taking a worse beating on this podcast than Terrible. I do, and he doesn't even come on the show. I know. We're How does that fucking that happen? We're gonna keep yeah, but... That. You would like him if you met him. I bet You'd feel I would. sorry for him. I'd like him initially, and then I'd be like, ah, he's a Lenny. Anyway. <laughs> he's not a Lenny. He's not he's a Lenny. A, I mean, he's, an he's not a fucking Lenny. He's an agreeable kind of a chap. Hey, let's bring him to the picnic. Oh, <laughs> He'd be good at a barbecue. Are you good with a skillet? He's All not right, we got to wrap this up. I'm annoying right. myself right. now. All right, you guys, Can do your, what's the name of your podcast? Confrontation, C N T frontation. <laughs> for now, he can't, even, he can't even get through it. He's like, oh. But I'm on Twitter CNT, and but Instagram it's not and cunt, Facebook CNT and doesn't the spell, Ritu Chandra. CNT so you, doesn't spell. If we spell change cunt. it, just just follow our social media. You'll find out what where. What's yours, Jackie? Social I'm Jackie media. underscore Burn. Okay. On so what everything? No, oh, on Instagram. Sorry, and Twitter. I'm Jackie Burn without the underscore. That's B Y R N E. What, what do you think is I, like I, I have some dates to plug. Can I do that? <laughs> like Mr. Burns, B U R N? Yeah, just to make sure. Could feel be. the burn. That's what you should call it. And feel the burn. I have that. B-Y-R-N-E. That's my hashtag. That's her wow. hashtag. Wow. wow, I must have. Uh, I'm a psychic. <laughs> I'm going to be in Poughkeepsie for opening weekend next weekend. So you should, if anybody's wow. listening from Poughkeepsie, oh, they. Wow. Should buy tickets we at Laugh have It a Up. Fan. We actually have a fan in Poughkeepsie. Eye in the sky. I know. He, ha- he hates me. Um, so they should. So if it's not him, everyone else should buy tickets. He's, and the, only come fan. He's the only fan we got up there. Wait, who are you, who are you on the show with? Um, it's opening weekend at Laugh It Up. It's me and Ken Krantz. You guys are still on speaking, speaking? Yeah, terms? we totally are speaking. I, of course, we're on speaking terms. I will so always love Ken. You and Ken Krantz, then who's headlining? Ken's headlining. Okay. And then uh, May 6th, I'll be at the stand with Carol Montgomery for a Mother's Day show. Wow. Cute. Yeah, it's cute. And then there was something else I wanted to mention that when I can't. Oh, home, and then go ahead. If any, Pennsylvania, the Emmys Theater well, with Jessica Kirsten on May 22nd. When you come home, does your husband ask you how much money you made? Um, no, but I put it in a little account and then we go on vacation. Where are you going on vacation to? Newark? <laughs> Wait, I you fucking spent... paid for an, the one year before the COVID hit. I got I paid for a vacation to Costa Rica. I paid for that. You paid for everything, the hotels and everything. I did. I paid for everything. Believe it Airfare? or not, airfare. I did. Right. I did. We're gonna have to take your word on that. So one uh, year's worth of comedy. I, I got think... us a trip. It was a whole year's <laughs> worth. It wasn't like it was a month. It was like All the right. whole year. All right. I got to Costa Rica with hmm. them. That's hmm. not bad. Not bad. Yeah. If it's true, but you know, but you guys will, we can't our really go Our fake reviews on, and our fake vacations. Yeah. yeah, we can't really go on your word. Sorry. I like, how, I like how you cracked immediately. You have fake reviews. Okay. I did not say. I said a couple. 
You could have just said like, no, we don't. You're like, okay, so don't you? I, always I just forget want people you to, to admit, Kevin, that you enjoyed having us on to some degree. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to say, go to my YouTube page and like, what do I say, Adam? Like and subscribe? Like yeah, and subscribe. Like, yes, like subscribe, support. hit I'm the notifications that, right? button. What do you suppose? You, 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 hit the you're bell. Supposed, you're supposed say. to subscribe and- Oh yeah, and, you want and what I'm gonna you, do it. What are you supposed to like? You hit the bell the, and that, the that gives you notifications. Like I'm gonna like you right now. Oh, you like all the videos? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go right now so I don't forget. Okay, everybody, like the videos. Like my videos. That'd you have super. to do that. Got to do super it. Super if you liked it. That'd We're also super. on YouTube if anyone wants to like our. They don't. They don't. <laughs> I like how the one fan you have in Poughkeepsie doesn't like you. That's so sad. Oh, all right. He's a, it's he's your a, fan. He's, he's a first responder, too. He's a good egg. So I'm right. not saying he's not a good egg. I'm saying he doesn't like me. I didn't like Trump. He didn't like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you should keep your politics to your to yourself if you. No, to I don't think I'm going to fucking do that. I don't. Yeah, I didn't you like don't, Trump. Yeah, because your husband pays all the bills, so you're like, I'll do what I want because I I don't have to be any responsibilities in the real I world. I mean, that partially helps, but I also I'm not going to fucking not say what I want about that. That's bullshit. I'm not going to say what I want. So one first responder in Poughkeepsie can fucking like me. Go fuck yourself. Well, okay. Yeah. Right. Now we might show up just to you, <laughs> probably you Thanks. Them out. You, oh, you dared kills. me not to go to the show. Well, here I am. <laughs> Good. Buy a ticket. <laughs> Double reverse psychology. Oh, all right. All right. So you guys did all your plugs. So yeah, like and subscribe. Don't forget to go to the thing forward slash. <laughs> forward, forward slash and like and subscribe. Tim Dillon talks about gay sex. <laughs> we mentioned it. We can call it that in the title. All right, we're done. We're done. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna we were gonna read. Uh, I was gonna read, uh, but I'm not gonna do it now. Oh yeah, maybe I will. Go ahead. What time is it? Four twenty. No, I'll do it on Wednesday. Okay. Right. I'll read out the people that are giving me money on the side. <laughs> oh. said, That's how you make money too. No, I don't even know. But some people, I did my Patreon, but some people go like, they, it's like when they tip you, like, you know, you get somebody a good table up front at a restaurant, they go, yeah, this is for you. So people go, hey, we like, hey, that show last week was good. Here's $20. Well, there was, was a my, fan of yours that, always that makes I can't me, find anymore, actually. No, that always makes me laugh when they give me some side tip. Yes. So There's, I like to. I like do you know talk. what happens to Motor City Judy? I know she used to give you money. Motor City Judy. Hmm. I liked Motor City Judy. Now she's still around because she, uh, she. I think she's on. I think she follows me on YouTube because I think she comments on YouTube. Some people get. Some people drop off of Twitter because. For one reason or another, they get sick of it or they go to Instagram or whatever. Well, if Motor City's listening, I just like to say hi. Miss hearing from you. Motor she's from Detroit too. Yeah, she's a sweet lady. Maybe she, you know what, with your husband. She would like our podcast. Oh, is that how you're gonna recruit people <laughs> one at a time? <laughs> That's so sad. All right, but you do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you do what you love and the money will follow. Absolutely. All right, thanks you guys. Thanks for doing the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.